What's up guys, I'm Jeff Evans. I make videos just like this every single week to help you keep living that bold life for Jesus. So as you may know, if you've been watching my channel for a while or if you've read my bio, I am a church worker. I work at a church, I work full time, I get paid to be a youth pastor and the tech person and the marketing person, I have many hats in a church. And if you are a church worker, which you probably are if you're watching this video, then you know that in a church you wear many hats. Now, one of my favorite hats and one of my favorite ministries is actually marketing. I know it, it seems super corporate and like it doesn't belong in church, but as Christians, as church workers, our job is to get people into our church. And so we're constantly competing with the business world all around us. So yes, in church, we do marketing because we want to get the name of our church out there. We want to get the reasons we gather, the reasons we do what we do. We want people to know that when they come into our church that they're going to be loved, cared for, and accepted, that they can bring in whatever baggage they have. And that's just part of our job. So how I learned to do this for the most part is by learning from other church workers. Now, I personally am a lover of conferences. If you follow mine and my wife's vlog, you'll see that a couple months ago, we went to Atlanta to that church conference and just had an awesome time. Actually got to meet up with Trey Van Camp, who is another Christian YouTuber, and just learned so much from those guys. And they're actually gonna be putting on a online conference, just like that church conference that was in Atlanta. They're gonna be an online conference and they actually asked me to speak at it and speak about how I use YouTube as part of my ministry. It's called Church Communication Summit and it's all about teaching church workers how to use social media, how to use media. I'm doing a session on how to use YouTube, how to reach the people around us. Now, if you're interested in that online conference, which I highly recommend, I know these guys put out amazing content. I know a lot of the speakers that are gonna be there. I'll actually have it linked down below and it'll actually be my link. So if you use it, it'll help me a little bit and I would love you forever. And we'll best friends but but I want to say to you if you are a church worker I just I just want to encourage you for just a moment whether you're paid you're unpaid you're volunteer you're you're part-time um, you're bivocational whatever that looks like for you just know that you are making a difference whether you you teach kids you teach teenagers you preach on a stage or you shake someone's hand or you make the coffee or you run the slides for worship so whether you open doors or you hold umbrellas for little old ladies, whatever you do inside the local church and wherever your church is and whatever your church does, just know that you are making a difference. That when we, we gathered up here and we, we had a, a volunteer meeting and we just simply told stories about how our volunteers had made a difference. It was amazing the, the amount of people that spoke up that were here just in our volunteer meeting and told about how someone made a difference when they just opened the door or they greeted them or they handed them a bulletin or they poured them a cup of coffee. Those people had no idea what they had done that day had made a difference. Just know that in somebody's life, you are making a difference. So I wanna, I wanna challenge you guys, if, if you've attended a church before and a volunteer or a ministry leader has made a difference just by doing a little mundane task, whether they, they got you coffee or they greeted you or they welcomed you or they, they simply had a conversation, I want you to comment it down below and just thank that person for making a difference in your life. Guys, I thank you so much, you, you are my people. You get me. You get my heart, right? Those of you that work in a church, whether you're paid or volunteer or, or you do it for free, or you do it by vocationally, you're my people. We get each other, right? So if, if you want that extra step and you don't have to do it, but th this online conference I know is going to be amazing. If you want to, just click my link down below and use that. But guys, thank you for what you do. I just want you to know if you leave with nothing else today, leave with the encouragement to know that you are making a difference. You are doing ministry. I don't like just calling it volunteering. We call it volunteer ministry because you are doing a ministry to somebody and you are making a difference in somebody's life. So leave encouraged. Just know no matter what, keep doing what you're doing. Pray to God and do the work he has set before you and you will make a difference. Guys, I thank you so much for what you do. Keep doing it keep killing it. If you like this content, you like what I'm doing here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, do all the YouTube things. Thank you for all you do guys and keep living a bold life.